malware, the number one tool of black hat hackers. Most of you already know what a malware is and what it stands for. Malware is simply a short word for malicious software and it's something that has been existing for decades. Malware's main goal is to compromise confidentiality, integrity and availability of the system that they are targeting. Malware itself has its own categories. There are many types of malware out there and not all of them intend to do the same thing. Nowadays, however, many malware you encounter will have multiple functions and multiple tasks, while before, usually malware had just one intent. In this lecture, it's time we dissect different types of malwares and explain what each of them does. First of all, let's start with the most common one, which is Trojan. A Trojan is a malware that relies on social engineering. It represents as one thing or one type of a file, while in reality it's something else completely. It can appear to be as an image or a PDF file or whichever file type best suits the target and which the target will most likely execute. Now, in most cases, it has many things that can give it away as a Trojan and not the file that it appears to be. But, for example, to a regular person, these things are not noticeable. Once Trojan is executed by the target, it can do many things such as steal the data on that system, run different programs, it can set itself to be as a backdoor for any future connection. This is dangerous because if Trojan has backdoor, then it is enough to execute it only once for the hacker to have complete access to it whenever he wants in the future. Another type of malware that is usually even more dangerous is Worm. What makes Worm so dangerous? Well, it's the fact that Worms usually exploit unpatched vulnerabilities. This means unlike Trojan who must be executed in order to run, a worm provides its own delivery mechanisms so that it can actually automatically spread from system to system. Worms are potentially able to infect any machine in the world that is connected to the internet and when it's exposed to some of the unpatched vulnerabilities that the worm exploits. This is especially dangerous if the attacker discovers a zero-day vulnerability on a widely spread software or protocol that most machines implement. In theory, if that machine is not protected by any additional firewall or security measure, it can be infected by the worm by just being connected to the internet. Another dangerous malware out there is ransomware. Ransomware is something that you also might have heard about as it's becoming more and more popular recently. Ransomware is simply a malicious program that when executed on your system encrypts all of your data and asks for money in order to decrypt that data. Usually this money is provided in crypto since it's far more difficult to track than fiat and it will give you a couple of days to pay for the ransom before destroying all of your data on that system. The next one you probably have heard about, as many people refer to malware, being simply a virus. Now, viruses have been around for decades, and in many cases they are simply just self-replicating file infectors. Nowadays, they are less popular than before, but some attackers are still finding creative ways to run viruses. Now we come to perhaps the most dangerous malware for a single system, and that is a rootkit. Rootkit is malicious program designed to give unauthorized access to a system or a software. Well, you might be asking now, well, what is the difference between a rootkit and, for example, a Trojan? Well, rootkits are hidden deep inside the operating system, and they can commonly be very, very hard to remove, and in some cases close to impossible to remove. Not only that, but they can sometimes be very, very hard to detect as well. And last but not least, we have spyware. Now, spyware is simply a program that is used to spy on you, as its name says. 
This can be for many purposes, and sometimes it's even combined with something called adware. Spyware can spy on things you visit and look on the internet, and adware will show you these ads in order to get you to buy something. These are pretty much the most common types of malware out there. And what's also important to mention is the ways that it can spread. There are five most common ways that the malware spreads. It can spread through unpatched vulnerabilities, security misconfigurations, it can spread to weak, leaked, and stolen credentials, it can spread through social engineering, and it can always spread if there is an insider threat.